be flexible with your needle holder. So when you palm, you can unlock the ratchet by having three fingers that go across one side and your thena eminence, the bulk of the muscle on your thumb side, push up, these fingers push down like so. The bit where people struggle is when they're going from the palmed grip like this and then they want to unlock the ratchet in their hand. Rather than having to bring your left hand across, this looks very unslick and unprofessional, and then putting your fingers in, why don't you just do this? Go across, and then do like I just did there. So you go across, and then those fingers stay down, this part pushes up, and you unlock the ratchet like that. And then you can grab it. The other option is to go across, grab it with the forcep, put your thumb in, then your ring finger, then unlock it normally, and then put it through. Palm your forcep, and then as always push forward, one, two, use your finger, use your finger, so we're not doing this, we're just using our fingers. Put everything into one hand and cut. Speed is about precision and reducing maneuvers that waste time. Fortunately, because I've kept everything in this hand, all I have to do is open my hand, the needle is there, and I'm good to go. And then this is the maneuver and the hand position that you want to be in. So it's just about economy. If you're in theatre, you don't need all of this, but if you're by yourself in a &E, on a ward by the bedside, no scrub nurse, no theatre assistant, you need to be economical and reduce manoeuvres that waste time and reduce the decision-making process, how to find things, where to find things, where things are going to drop. I'll show you that one more time. Go across. Go across horizontally, so not vertically, because chances are you'll miss if you go vertically, go across horizontally, and you can't miss, grab it with the forcep, palm your forceps. I leave the needle here, it's not in my hand, it's not going to sharp me. When I turn my hand, it lays there, I've always got it. Leave a short end and push forward, that's half the loop for you, one, two. Your finger, and one, and one. And then, everything into one hand, we're going to get our scissors out, like so, and cut, and, like magic, the needle is already in my finger, ready to be mounted exactly where I want it the first time, and I get going. My forceps are already in my hand, and I can continue. Top tip for today.